viewers many freelancers get orders from clients to make restaurant sites in wordpress so today we are going to um, make a wordpress make a restaurant site in wordpress uh, it will take around 20 minutes to make a site like this you see a welcome section a reservation form a food and then in in this form you can create a uh, date mm, uh, date calendar email etc etc reservation form will you work straight away after that you see a food menu uh, if you click on this uh, any of the menu item you will see the details and here it, you can see the services section the restaurant service after that special food items you can show this like this and some restaurant arrange events so theme should be able to show event section like this and then the footer section the site must be mobile responsive and you see this design this site is also 100% mobile responsive design everything looks perfect in mobile this is you see everything looks so perfect this is the mobile view and this is menu this is the site menu in mobile in mobile the menu will show like this you will create a site like this within 20 minutes as i said earlier see mobile mobile site okay I scroll more okay the footer section everything looks perfect in mobile okay this is the desktop view let's start how to build a site like this in 20 minutes you will need a server where your wordpress will be installed log into your wordpress and install a butter theme which theme butter theme remember the name butter theme and you see this is the butter theme and where you can download this theme you just see the URL um, typing fluentthemes.com this is the site where you can get the theme butter theme see uh, here this is butter theme uh, you can download it from here if you click on this will, that the theme will be downloaded I have already downloaded and installed butter theme in my WordPress so let's activate it. Activate it. Now uh, you will activate the plugins. The plugins will be coming with the butter theme automatically. When you download the butter theme, plugins will be there. So just activate those two plugins as you can see here. The plugins are installed now. Okay, this is the plugin already installed. Now we just see the front end of the theme. You see, it is blank, totally blank. We will populate this blank page with elements to make a site, make a restaurant site like I showed before. Let's start add a new page when you add a new page you will see a title section where you can put your title like home then you see those buttons back end editor front end editor you just click on back end editor now you have 
add element button add template button you just click on add element when you click on add element you will see many elements you can drag and drop we just uh, dragging master slider first it will be at the top of our site this is the master slider element we will import the slider after this go master slider settings there are create new slider after that scroll down to the bottom and you see the sliders are theme preview sliders are there you can choose any one and click on create the slider is created already you have nothing more to do see the slide slide and the three slides of the slider already created you just clicked on click and create sorry see the uh, preview of the slider you can edit the uh, text the image background image everything okay now go back to the page where we selected the master slider element and choose a slider we just created restaurant save changes and then see the preview you see the blank page is now got a slider all the slides are sliding everything looks perfect now we will add more elements uh, let's add welcome section element find ft welcome section at uh, this ft welcome section 1 okay you will have this pop up field put heading line 1 heading line 2 then the text after that a signature image can be imported here is the signature image the image is added now the right side image will be imported upload this is the right side image. Import it. You can you can choose any image. You just showing which image looks good in the preview site. Okay, now the front end looks like this. This is the slider and this is the welcome section we just created the right side image everything click on the row reader and you will see the bottom and top padding row yes uh, top and bottom padding you can specify okay after that we will make a reservation form ft reservation form i choose then heading line 1 heading line 2 the fields you will populate with your text as you wish the 
preview now. See a reservation form is there. And as I said earlier, top padding, bottom padding you can specify. Uh, click on the edit icon of the row and give a bottom padding. Okay. Now you can see there is a blank space, bottom padding. The reservation form already created. Now we will select a heading element. If this is FT heading, FT heading, just keep information in the heading element. Save changes. You see a heading comes here. Now we will give the top heading. To make a blank blank space above the heading, see the blank space created. Now we will create the menus, food menus. FT menu 1 selected name the name price description then update see the live preview it will get a menu menu item food menu chicken fry uh, similarly you will <laughs> similarly you will input more FT menu 1 item in that section you may have uh, 10 20 food menus uh, food items so if you, you can show this show those food items like this another food item one after another then another one One more three on first column, three on second column, and you can input three more in third column. Also, you can add a lot more, but for now, we are showing just nine food items. See. Just below the food items, we will create a button. View full menu. You can link up this button with your menu page, full food menu page. You see in the view full menu. It needs a bottom padding. Just give a bottom padding from here. Now see the preview. You will see a bottom padding created, blank space just below the button. Service experience service uh, section can be created now with FT services one element. Click FT services one. Put your information here as you wish. You can input icon name, font or some icon. There is a site fontawesome.com. Go there and see uh, which icon you want to use here and put the name icon name here. The icons will be shown in the front end.
the front end this is the service station created you see left and right side got a blank space but we will solve this issue later it's easy just a stretching row okay whatever now we will click create ft block post element put your heading line one heading line two as you wish just uh, click on add new post make new post with your uh, food item name uh, give it a category and upload your food item image from here featured image see this image I selected just click on the publish button this food item published to place in the home page uh, you can create four new post to make for new food items same as before click a category and then upload image upload your food image uh, like this then publish it that's it see those food items are visible in the home page the page what will it, what you will get after you click on the food menus <coughs> this if you click on this you will see a page like that okay now make an event section this is the same as the previous section you will give it a heading and then uh, you will create four or uh, two couple of new posts with event category save changes review see the title is here but not no events are showing there because we didn't create any event post yet here we are creating the event posts like this uh, choose the category then choose your event events after that publish it same another event we are creating here at new post give it a category upload image your event image another image like this publish it ah. now this will be visible in the home page we just created see the live uh, see the front end preview front end preview you see the events are created already see the two events we just created they are showing here we will stress the rows is 
just uh, image URL. You just don't need to. You don't need to find this URL, image URL. You can choose your own image. You see background image. You can choose your own background image and keep that section, event section, a background image. Now we go to theme options. See under appearance there is a theme options. Uh, in the social settings of theme options, you will give your social links. Save changes. Then you can go to the footer settings. Put your information, or your company information, or your restaurant information here. Contact here, and email you can give here to contact you. After inputting this, you will just save the settings. There are many settings you can use. See this uh, footer is blank now. After we use the theme options, now the footer will be like this. The social icons, the phone, email, location, etc. Okay, now we will stress the rows those are not stressed yet you see the settings click on the edit row icon you will see the a drop down option like this choose stress row and cap content no paddings the bottom event section also need this stress row and content no padding save changes after that if you preview the site you will see the sections are stressed to full width you see reservation section is now full page width same uh, in the service section it's also full width now it's looking good you see the event section this is also full width very easy no coding needed you just putting your information and you are done